So you have plugged your USB cord into your Chromebook and you have plugged your USB connection to your MBOT and it should look like this. So as you can see on the side, you see number three and number four, and then here's your cable plugged into your MBOT and you've plugged into your computer the other end of the cable for the MBOT. You then will need to go to ide.mblock.cc. So you can have this as a favorite, however works best for you. So the robot's plugged in, you're here in this program, and we're gonna click right here, and we're gonna click the plus, and we're gonna wait for the device library to open. And you're going to scroll down and find the MBOT, and it should be in the second row. So not MBOT2 or the NeoBot, you just wanna choose MBOT. So click on the MBOT, and then down in the corner, you're going to want to click on OK. So you're going to click on OK. And then you're going to be connected. You can see right down here in the corner that I'm connected to the MBOT. You see MBOT is your connection here. And then you're going to scroll down to the bottom underneath the sprite. There's sprites background. You want to stay in devices. Scroll down and click connect. I notice that I can connect here with my USB. So I can go here, make sure it's all connected and connect. So now my MBOT is connected to my computer through the cable. Now in this, sometimes you need to update the firmware. So go to settings and if you have an update, it will say update firmware and click on that. It'll say here's the version and go ahead and click updates. You want to always make sure that the MBOT's updated to the most recent firmware so that it runs as the best it can. So go ahead and let it run. You can see the bar across the bottom is showing you that it's progressing through it may take a minute or so. It just depends on how big the update is. But go ahead and let it run through the entire update. I notice it's about 60%. And this is important that you're connected, that you're on the MBlock program, connected to the USB cable to the MBot. This is the only way to do a firmware update. And let's let that go ahead and go through. It's almost done. And it says, the firmware update is finished. Please reconnect the device. And so I would have to go through and reconnect the device again. But right now, I just wanted to show how to update the firmware on the MBOT.